Hey what's up guys, Mashine here, come back with a brand new video for you guys, and considering I made a case December investing guide just a couple days ago, I figured now was probably going to be a good time to bring out the investing guide for no cases, because this is honestly a little bit more fun, because we can look into specific collections, talk a little bit more in depth about them, and where the future lies, especially in my eyes, for some of these collections, which honestly are starting to look really good right now. But before we hop on into it, if you guys are looking to pick up any CSGO I've got a couple links in the description and let's hop on into it. Now to start, we're going to be heading to Shattered Web, and not specifically Shattered Web, but rather the collections, because this is where some of our profit starts to begin, or rather our big increases. I'm going to start with the Gunganir here, because it's one of the more important skins from the Shattered Web collections. It's the Norse collection, it's the top tier gun, and it can kind of help show us where these price increases are coming from. When this gun goes up in price, the guns below it will go up in price, and you can see by the graph, just in the past week, we're starting to see some pretty significant gains which is really good especially for people like myself who are invested into the Norse collection it's definitely looking like a pretty good setup so far now to look at the Norse collection specifically I'm gonna head back down to the blue rarity and we're gonna be looking at the emerald quartz this graph on screen shows you exactly how the growth has went we saw a pretty small spike in the beginning there like very left hand side and then it kind of slowly increased for a while and a long bit there definitely and then it quickly shot up in price going from like $40 to $80 there it looks like almost doubling in just the span of like two weeks three weeks so this is what we really got to be looking out for is we're most likely going to see some trend like this happen again where we're going to see an increase for a long bid and then we're going to see a quick rush and that's most likely going to be the best time to sell now this pattern is roughly followed by the other two collections in Shattered Web. Those are not obviously as expensive and therefore are probably not going to see the same amount of dollar increases. However, there's definitely some percentage increase that could be roughly equated over there. I think all of those items are going to expect to see a pretty decent incline in the future and especially after the events of the past week i think that's definitely a safer bet especially since this is the first real jump we've seen in a bit of time now when we head on into Broken Fang skins here, the opposite can kind of be said. Your control collection is still suffering majorly, and this, in my opinion, is to be expected. The Op Fade, which is the top tier of the control collection, was the most bought covert skin ever from an operation. This is not even a question. It's just insane the amount of these that were out there. And therefore, I don't think that many people see lots of investment potential with this. If you're holding on to this, you bought it at a later date. I would be willing to bet that you've held on to it for a while, or you're just buying it now because it's so, so cheap compared to what it used to be. But I don't see a lot of investment potential here for many people looking at this. Although it is a very cheap covert, and that means like your pinks are very cheap, Overall, I think this one definitely is going to struggle from the player base, just knowing how many are out there. Now, personally, I have a target acquired, which is one of the pinks that trades up to the op fade. Now, I do expect this to see probably a little bit of an increase, same with the op fade, maybe looking at 15% or something like that. Obviously, it's not going to be an exact percentage that I know of, at least. But it's very interesting to see the demand that has kind of fallen off for all of these skins. I mean, obviously the prices are significantly lower, but you can see that the price of the target acquired here has stayed low for a fair bit. I don't think that many people are that excited to invest into Broken Fang here. I think they're viewing it with a lot more risk than everything else, which can go either of two ways. It can result in massive profit for the very few and more risky people that invest in, or it can result in nothing for the very few and very risky people that invest in it can go either way here and i think overall the community knows how many of these skins are out there so this one's definitely going to be struggling a little bit more than some of the other skins and other collections in my opinion this trend is going to be followed over to the other two collections however those are going to be less extreme we might see a little bit more of increases over there 
It's just hard because the control collection was so overly invested into, but I think the other two collections definitely do have a better chance of seeing more significant growth because there's definitely less of them on the market and there's less of them in people's inventories and people overall and the community overall know that and they're going to be more likely to invest into these other two collections rather than the control collection here. Now with all these big holidays in quarter four of the year coming up, it'd be an understatement to say that people are excited, especially looking at some play skins. Looking at the red line graph here, you can see that there's obviously something going on, and this is the perfect example of what I was trying to talk about many months ago, saying flipping the red line. Now honestly, at this price point, I don't think you're going to lose out money yet. Now that is my opinion, take that with a grain of salt rather. I don't think that you should be investing into it just because I say so. However, it's definitely something you could look into because we've got a lot of events coming up in the next two months here. We've got Christmas and then we've got the Chinese New Year, both of which are going to be pumping up CSGO skin prices and case prices and prices overall most likely. So this is definitely something you should be looking into if you're looking to flip items rather to invest into items. I think it's definitely going to be a good option to look at your popular skins like this AK Redline here. It's definitely going to be probably a pretty profitable adventure as long as you're playing it smart. With all this talk about investing and flipping, one thing I do have to mention is unless you're buying it for the purpose of playing with it, I definitely stay away from M4A1S skins at this time. They're most likely to go down from where they are at unless you believe that the M4A1S will not receive a nerf in the next two months. Then it is probably going to be a good idea potentially to buy in and use the skin. However, the M4A4 skins are significantly down. It's not a bad idea to think about picking one up just for when those two guns do eventually get balanced out because they're going to get balanced out. Let's be honest here. We know for a fact that these skins are roughly going to be Coming back down to the ground, the M4A1S is going to be lowered down or the M4A4 is going to be buffed a little bit. I think that's a pretty safe bet to say that they are going to be equal once again. And I think it's definitely a good option to start thinking about any M4A4 skins you're looking at, potentially looking at their prices now because most of them haven't even really seen a jump in price. I mean, you're looking at the desolate space here. Obviously, it's gone up a fair bit, but it's gone up significantly less than all of these other skins have. And with a buy order, you can honestly get it for really cheap. Speaking of buy orders on these skins, I would definitely not suggest selling any of your investments as of yet. Like I talked about with the M4A4 right now, people are selling them for so cheap because they want to take those funds and they believe if they put them elsewhere they are going to gain significant profit because that's kind of the mindset that people have nailed in at this point to that there's going to be this huge run up really quickly it's not going to be spread out over a couple months like it most likely will be but it's going to be very quickly like one week and you've got to get in super early or else everything's going to be lost and i think that's definitely a mistake people are going to make so if you've got some kind of obscure skins Throwing a buy order on them right now would definitely not be a bad idea if you're looking at something from like the dust collection that doesn't get sold very often or anything like that. You could definitely be in for a little bit of just easy free discounts because people are kind of desperate to invest because we've seen this first type. But that is really all I have for today guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.